Hey guys, Mars Thinking here, bringing another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video. And so tomorrow we have the release of the LR Ultimate Gohan Part 2 banner from Golden Week. Um, I say tomorrow, obviously if you're in the US, it's later the same evening for you guys. Um, the banner's going to come out at 9am UK time. So this is going to be, uh, what is it, midnight or 1am if you're in Pacific time. Um, so I guess technically still tomorrow, right, if it's after midnight. It's tomorrow if you're in Eastern Time. It's very, very early in the morning for you guys. Um, but yeah, 9 a.m. for the UK. So I did the video breaking down his details and reacting to his animations yesterday. I do think he is a very good unit. Um, he's not going to be the new best unit in the game or anything. So the purpose of this video, of course, you've seen the title, you've seen the thumbnail, is to talk about whether you should summon for Ultimate Gohan or skip this banner. So I should always, as I do, start these videos off by clarifying that most of the time these summon or skip videos are aimed primarily at people that are free to play or who don't spend a lot of money on the game. Because obviously if you're a whale or you're a collector or Gohan's just your favorite character or anything like that, you're probably going to summon on the banner anyway or, you know, regardless of any advice from anyone else, you're probably going to summon. This advice is aimed at those people who do need to be a little bit more careful with their stones because, you know, we sound like a broken record at this point, I'm sure. But for Global, the main thing that everyone should and will have been focusing on for the whole of the year, really, um, is the anniversary, which of course is coming up on Global in just over a month's time. Um, it begins uh, late. The countdown starts like late June, early July, right? So once Golden Week finishes, we'll have June, which we still don't know exactly what we're going to be getting. If we follow last year's pattern, we will be getting uh, AGL Dokkan Fest Frieza and then LR Ginyu and then the anniversary. But who knows? The Tanabata is still an unknown factor because with the sync upcoming, it would make a lot of sense for them to get that in for global before the worldwide. But we all have to wait and see. So there's a lot of things you have to consider upcoming. And, you know, whilst Gohan is very good, you don't want to go in deep on the banner for him and then, you know, not have enough stones to get Broly, Gogeta, or, of course, Beast Gohan, who's one of the big focuses. Um, the Gammas as well. All, all the anniversary units are good, right? I mean, if in an ideal world, everyone gets all four of them. But, yeah, a lot of people want to focus primarily on Beast. Um, but, yeah, so, summon or skip for Gohan. He is a yellow coin LR banner. So this is one of the big things to think about for him is that the banner will probably not be that great, but it will have the pity system. So I brought up Bulma's banner. This is her banner from last year. Um, these yellow coin banners always have three featured LRs and then f was it four other featured SSRs. So it's a seven featured unit banner. Um, now with the new yellow coin banner format, every three multis for the first, is it seven times, gives you a guaranteed featured. So there is the possibility, and there probably will be a bunch of people out there that do get this kind of luck, that you can just pull Gohan on the third summon, because the third multi will be a guaranteed featured. And then the sixth multi is a guaranteed featured. The ninth multi is a guaranteed featured, right, for the first couple of rotations. And of course, you are then going to be getting, with every single summon, the pity coins. And once you get enough of those, you are able to get one copy of Gohan guaranteed from the exchange shop. So basically, in terms of how many stones you need to spend to get enough coins, it's 1000 stones. Now, you can trade in any bonus SSRs that you pull that you already have rainbowed, just like you can with any other banner, but you trade those in for the pity coins. So that helps you reach that goal of the thousand coins sooner than if you were just using the stones right so i think when the int uh, tree of might goku came out that was the first banner that had the pity system for global um i got him in about 700 stones so i got 300 co uh, stones worth uh, sorry yeah i got 300 um stones worth of coins rather than having to go up to a thousand stones i got all those extra coins from the extra ssrs that i was able to trade in so that means you are looking at with good luck if you get a bunch of the ssrs that you can trade because of course you might pull ssrs you don't have rainbowed and you can't trade those in you're looking at anything between 700 and a thousand stones i mean you could get super lucky and get tons of like you know, God Goku animation, triple SSR multis with characters that you don't need and maybe 600. But 600 to 1,000 stones is what you're going to be looking at. So realistically, you need to look at your stone fund, 
think about the fact that the anniversary is in just over a month's time and think about how you'll be looking going into the anniversary if you drop 600 to 1000 stones now in order to get this Gohan. Now again, if you want to try your luck and do a couple of multis, the third multi, sixth multi, etc. are guaranteed featured, but that could be any of these other units. And when we think about who's going to be on the banner, um, I brought up a couple of options just looking at the fact that Gohan's leader skill is Majin Buu Saga and Saviors. So there's a couple of options that could be interesting. AGL Super Buu, who's kind of got a new lease of life, right, with the uh, Buu Saga red zone and the new buffs to the Buu team. I think he could be really good. So him being on the banner would be interesting. There's certainly worse options, right, when it comes to yellow coin LRs. So he could be on the banner. Then we have the uh, physical Angel Vegeta. Unfortunately, he is pretty outdated now, but as another Margin Buu Saga LR, I could see him being on there. If he was to get an EZA in part two and be on the banner, that would be incredible. Because we know we're getting all those five EZAs. I did the video earlier, but they're all sub EZAs. So as yet, we don't know that if we're getting an actual Extreme Z battle in part two. So if we are, and it's for an LR, it could definitely be this guy, which would be very, very good for the Buu Saga team. Um, so yeah, we'll keep an eye out for that. There could be a super easy A for someone as well. If they gave this guy an easy A and then did a super easy A for Physical Kid Buu or Buhan, I think that would be a great balance, right? Because a lot of people are disappointed that the Part 2 LR is Gohan and not a Buu, because the game does like to heavily load with um, super type characters. But I think this guy getting an easy A in Part 2 would be super good. I think it's a bit too early for Super Buu, unfortunately. And then the other one, whilst I don't want them to be on the banner, of course, is the Int, Goku and Piccolo. Just because they're on Saviors, they are a Saviors leader as well. It'd be weird for them to get an easy A, but I guess if Part 2 is more themed around Gohan and the fact that he is a Saviors lead and a Saviors unit, these guys' easy A, I guess, could fit into the celebration. But if we had to get a Yellow Coin LR easy A in Part 2... Like I said, I'd much rather it be the Angel Vegeta. But again, they could just be random yellow coin LRs that don't fit the theme as much. Um, but these guys, I think, are the three most likely that fit the theme. So ideally, it'd be these two, because this guy's still usable. Neither of these guys are really, but this guy's more likely to get an easy A. And his easy A certainly could be very good. Um, so we'll have to wait and see. Now, the other thing that you have to bear in mind as well is uh, if we change the view here, shout out to the boy Proton who posted the data download breakdown thread earlier. You can see here, this is the pity coin. They've made it so that you can't carry over any pity coins that you still had left by making them specific, right? So this is the third yellow coin banner on global with the pity system. So they are specifically like the pity coin three. So you can't use any old ones. Any old ones that you still have, the only thing you can do with them is trade them for yellow coins. Um, so if you do have any, make sure you do that. Um, and then, of course, the other big thing for those of you who do spend is that there is going to be a ticket pack. Now, if we think about the Ribrian banner for Global, the premium ticket pack, um, it's just the one premium ticket by the looks of it. 30 tickets are required to perform a multi. So it'll just be one of those packs where it'll probably be around $30 to $40. You get 30 tickets. That gives you a multi that gives you 30 characters. Um, sometimes they are guaranteed featured. It doesn't say in the data, which is why it's not listed here or not. Um, I think I actually got the Ribrienne trio with my premium ticket. But the other good thing about this is that you actually do get some pity coins as well. I think you might even get 30. So if you're someone who is going to do some summons on this banner and maybe wanted to even try for dupes, depending on how quickly you could pull one. Because that's the thing, right? If you summon for Gohan and you pull a copy or more or two, you know, even before you get to the six to a thousand, 600 to 1000 stone limit, you've still got that extra one that you could get from the shop if you wanted to. So if you're someone who spends on the game, getting the premium ticket and then still dropping some stones uh, to see if you can get a second copy or maybe even get up to the pity, depending on how many stones you want to spend, um, I could definitely see some people who are spenders walking away with a couple of copies of Gohan um, thanks to the ticket and then dropping some stones as well. So... This is something to bear in mind, but of course, these are the ones that you purchase from the shop. So not going to be useful for free to play players at all. Um, so when it comes to Gohan, summon or skip, Gohan is a good unit. He's going to be very fun to use, I think for sure. Um, it'll be fun to use him in the content that we still have coming out for this celebration. He'll be fun to use in the anniversary content, especially because some of the tough bosses are STR. So AGL and, uh, units are in a good spot. It's going to be really fun running him with the tech Gohan with his EZA. 
Um, but I think, unfortunately, if you are a free-to-play player or someone who doesn't spend a lot, it's probably always good advice to skip the yellow coin banners. The pity being there, I know, is a very tempting thing, but you're kind of, you don't have to go to pity if you start summoning, but there is kind of that temptation there, right? Like, if you drop, like, three or four hundred stones and you don't get him or uh, any of the other units that may be featured that you want or anything like that, there is always that temptation because at that point you're basically halfway there. Um, and so then it almost feels like a waste to just trade those coins in for yellow coins and then not go all the way to the pity thing. So I would advise people not to fall for that sort of uh, trap. If you want to try a couple of multis, maybe just do three to do the 150 stones, get a shot at a guaranteed featured on uh, the third summon. And then if you don't get Gohan, if you don't want to go any deeper than that, I would just stop there. Um, and then, of course, if you... Uh, feel like you can spare the 700 to 1,000 stones or 600 if you get really lucky, then going for the pity does obviously at least guarantee that you get one copy of him. I don't know how good he's going to be at 55%, but of course I'll be summoning for him live on stream tomorrow. So we will get him to 55%, try him out for a showcase, and then see how good he is. But yeah, I think for most people, free to play or low players, uh, low spending players, I would say probably don't want to summon for him unless you are... Uh, even if you are a new player, I guess, or free to play, if you farmed up like, you know, you're sitting on like 3000 or more stones, then maybe you could consider it. But you do have to think like all of those stones spent are stones that you're not then spending for the anniversary. Beast Gohan is still the best unit in the game, even with the content and everything that's released since the anniversary on JP. So if you're a global player, you really want to be pulling Beast Gohan. Broly and Gogeta and the Gammas are all really good as well. So I think if you are a lower spending player or free to play, skipping this guy is the best idea unless you have, you know, thousands of stones at this point. Um, but for those of you who are summoning for him, and then even if you're not, right, he's then going to be unfeatured on legendary summon banners. So when you get to the anniversary, if you're summoning for Gogeta or the Gammas, this Gohan's going to be unfeatured on their banner. Um, and so potentially pullable. It's always worth having medals farmed up and ready, even if you're not summoning on the initial banner. But you can see here, these are the medals that Gohan needs in order to be awakened into an LR. So if you are summoning for him, um, it's a good idea to get these pre-farmed so you can pull him and then just awaken him straight away. Um, so you need in total 14 in Ultimate Gohan medals, 56 tech Ultimate Gohan medals, 14 tech Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks medals, and then 14 LR Bootenks slash Buhan medals. And you can see those all there. So I actually, whilst this is recording, have a thing running uh, farming these medals now so that we can have these all ready to go. And once we get our Gohan tomorrow, because that's the thing, right? I will obviously as a content creator, I want to get Gohan so I can make videos. So at the bare minimum, I'll be getting my one guaranteed pity copy. Hopefully we'll get some dupes along the way. We'll see. I probably would if I pulled one copy of him and no more um, before getting to the pity thing would probably still go for the pity one. But like I say, there's probably going to be some people out there that get the insane luck because of the guaranteed featured thing. I mean, the god luck would be that you just pull Gohan on like the third, sixth and ninth multis, which would be, you know, 450 stones for a 79% Gohan, which would be kind of wild. But we'll see how we get on. So I'll be streaming tomorrow when the banner comes out. Do come and check it out. If you are going to summon, I hope you guys get good luck. Um, Pre-farm the medals. Even if you're not going to summon, like I say, um, it's worth having them in case you pull him from a future banner because it's always the most fun to get a new unit and just be able to awaken them and use them straight away rather than then have to spend loads of time going and farming medals from a bunch of different events, right? Because especially with these, this adds up to more than 77. So it's a much longer grind even than when you pull a new Dokon Fest exclusive. So because these yellow coin LRs don't have new events, you're able to get all of these medals ahead of time. So I would recommend uh, pre-farming them if you are going to summon. And then even if you're not, I would say it's worth doing if you don't have stamina. Like if you have stamina that you're not using for anything else, right? If you're not doing anything else on the game today. I did make that video earlier, of course, going over the sub EZA details and the fact that you can farm all of their EZA medals ahead of time. So you could always go ahead and do that if you're not going to summon for Gohan. Make sure you check that video out if you haven't seen it already. But the overall verdict, like I say, is free to play or low spending players i would say probably don't worry about summoning for him maybe chuck the 150 stones if you want to go for that shot at the uh, him being the guaranteed featured on the third multi but i wouldn't really go any deeper than that if you are like a dolphin mini whale whatever you want to call it 
Um, you know, if you can spare those uh, six to a thousand, six hundred to a thousand stones, depending on how many you have currently, it's definitely worth getting that guaranteed copy. Uh, if you can spare those stones. So let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. Are you going to be summoning for Gohan? Are you going to be skipping? Let me know all your thoughts on him and a unit. What do you think his banner lineup could be? Who will the two other featured LRs be? Let me know all your thoughts down below in the comment section. So that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been The Masked Ningen. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out the links down below for the Discord and the merch store. And I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.